Welcome to an Easy Actions plugin tutorial for Unreal Engine 4. I want to show you a small and simple sample what Easy Actions plugin can do. Let's start from creating an actor blueprint. And we will add an actions to it just in a moment. Okay, so first of all, we will have to add an action manager uh, component to our actor. You can do it from add component. Now we will go into event graph and we will add a simple. No, oh, I'm sorry, we will uh, get a cube so we can see something on the screen. And then we will add a simple action to it that will move the cube up, and that's it. So we will uh, write down move by because we want to move by action. We'll put the uh, connections from event begin play and we'll hook up the self as for the actor reference. We will want to move it 400 points up in a duration of 2 seconds. The action will be linear. Now we will add this action into the action manager and in the time we'll add it, it will uh, start to play immediately. Now let's run and watch what we have. Here we see our cube is going up and stand still. That's what we actually told in the action. Now let's create the reverse action that will move the cube back down. For this we will need to create a move by action that will go the minus 400 by Z and we will have to put this into a sequence of actions. We have an action that named sequence. I will just show you in a moment. So we will create a sequence action from array. Now we will make the array just in a short. We make array and we will put our actions one after another into this array. The sequence action means that the actions will be executed in the queue. The first actions will action will be executed first and the second will be executed after the first action is finished execution. Let's run and see what we get. The cube shall go up by 400 points and go down by minus 400 points. That's it. Uh, for now, I want to make this doing it forever in a loop, moving up and moving down. For this, we will create a make repeat forever action. And we will fit it with the sequence actions that we previously done. Now we will just add the repeat forever actions into our action manager and it will execute the move up and move down forever. Here we can see one, two, Last thing I would like to show you is how easy it is to choose between various timing functions. You can click on the combo box and see all the options available. Now let's say I want when we are going up to use the is out bouncing and when I'm going down I want to use, to use the is out quint. Let's see what we got. Now we can see the cube is bouncing and going up and decelerating when it's going down. Okay, I don't like the is out queen for this particular example, so I want to use is out elastic. Let's see what we got. 
Well, that's it for this tutorial. You can find this Actions plugin on the Android Engine 4 Marketplace. If you have any comments or requests, please leave them in the comment section below. And thanks for watching!